welcome back to the Voices of VSA podcast, where we give you an insight on what this year's Night at Saigon show is all about. My name is Trish Doe, and I'm a marketing director. And my name is Jennifer Faye, and I'm your co-host. And in this week's episode, we have the skip cast here. Yay! And before we start, let's let them introduce themselves. Starting with Jenna. <laughs> Director, I'm a fourth year, and this is my cat. Yeah. Okay, you go. My name is Jan, and I uh, I play Nan. Hi, I'm Max. I'm a first year, and I play Bao. Hi, I'm CC. I'm a fourth year, and I play Yi. All right, I'm Justin. I play Kai. Nice. Well, it was really nice to have y'all here today. So the first question that I have for you guys is, <laughs> what is your skit all about? Like, tell me the storyline. Um, so basically the skit just follows like a group of four friends and they just kind of do, you know, dumb stuff together and they're just really trying to have fun um, before their year ends. They learn like small lessons along the way, but for the most part, they just like have fun. And, yeah. Just to piggyback on what Jenna said, I'm pretty, like, <laughs> all, four of, uh, all four of the main cast are like a different part of their lives. And also they have different priorities, so it's cool to have like all different kind of, um, I guess, personalities all at once on stage. Yeah, I really like the variation in all the characters. There's a lot of complex relationships, a lot of sensitivity. Ooh. I think it makes it really interesting and just not like, too much. Not too much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know. Okay, I personally like how everyone interacts with each other at least some part of the the skit, and it's cool to see the different dynamic between the friends. It's cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all said most of the stuff, so... Okay. Can you each describe your skate character to us? I go first. Nam, uh, Nam is um, the friend that misses you the most, so he'll try to, I guess, instigate something or try to plan some elaborate kind of scheme just to have his friends all together to hang out. Because he has to find an excuse to hang out with them because they're always busy, so. Aww. What is your occupation as now in the story? Is my your occupation one? like my job? <laughs> yeah. Are y'all like all like students? All students. Oh. We're all, we're all, we're all, we're all, I believe we're all college students and we're all about to graduate. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's, it's like a coming of age, age yeah. comedy. Mm. So. Okay. Yeah. It feels very like teenagerish. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Like, it feels like young again, like a lot of a bunch of teenagers just like doing a lot, of, making a lot of trouble and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, specifically, I play Val, so he's kind of like the I guess mediator, but also an instigator. I'm not gonna lie, like he um, is pretty a very sensitive sensitive person as well. He kind of is has a pretty good relationship with everyone um, until some points. He is very impatient, gets easily mad. Um, <laughs> So he can kind of like, he just doesn't think that certain things are more important than the others. Mm. <laughs> Val takes like way Wait, too seriously. Oh. Yeah. Are you the studious person in the skit? Val, Val is definitely the studious. Oh, you're studious. Yes. Okay. So he's always studying for stuff and doesn't play with science. Oh. Sure. He doesn't really want to enjoy life like other people, or he thinks he is. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, well, Yi is like. She's very spontaneous, I would say, lively, cheeky, um, a little sassy, but so is the rest of the, the friend group. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't like affection too much, but you always catch her, you know, caring about them, giving them hugs, watching over them silently in her own way. Um, yeah. All right, well, Kai, he, he's uh, kind of just there for the vibes. It's quiet. You know, um, I guess sensitive, mm-hmm. you know, that's really it, chill sure. vibes. So when Jenna um, casted you guys <clears throat> as her character, were you all surprised or like, were you expected to be another character? How did that work? <laughs> My audition with Jenna was actually kind of funny. Oh. So I was actually surprised I really got like anything. Really? Because I messed up and I asked her if I could redo it and she goes, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, I, I feel like Jake could be redemption. You did. Actually, I lied, but I messed up twice. Mm. But then at that point, she gave up and she's like, no, you can't. Oh, it was a live audition. <laughs> yeah, it okay. was. Yeah. Um, 
I think for me, I was really like, I, I'd say I was pretty surprised. Yeah. I think when I started like getting to know the script and getting to know the characters <clears> as <throat> well, I feel like I could be a certain other character. But I really, I think as like I played more, I started to embody mine personally and also mm-hmm. just like, I don't relate to him as much. I feel like personally, I'm not anything like this character mm-hmm. now. But um, I do really enjoy like the dynamic that mm-hmm. you know, I get to kind of play because I get to put myself into his shoes. Yeah. Um, but I would, yeah, I would say I was pretty surprised, and I think it's really been fun mm-hmm. to be him. Be honest, if you weren't Bao, who would you be? Oh, yeah, I'd be him. Okay. Yeah. I want to be him. <laughs> no, not like that, not like that. Um, I definitely was surprised because I think at the beginning I wasn't too sure about like the dynamic of the characters, but I was open to playing any of them. Um, <clears throat> but then over time, I think A really becomes like who I am and my personality. Granted that she's a little bit more outgoing, a little bit more like cheeky, and she does get into a lot of like trouble and stuff like that. But it's fun. It's fun to embody her. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you know, it's literally me, kind of in a way. Mm-hmm. It's like you're not even acting anymore. No, it's not even. <laughs> is Kai, but... Yeah, Kai is Kai. <laughs> so, like, well, I kind of want to talk about my, my process about shooting them because I really thought it was fun. Like, um, the audition itself was just trying to get, let me know, like, what type of person you were, like, how you would play into this kid. Like, Chastin's character is Kai. Like, he's quiet, he doesn't say much. Chastin mm-hmm. is literally the same person. Uh, so that one, yeah, he knew this was coming. And this, and then, <laughs> like this, this one, this one, <laughs> this one is so, crazy. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He just, I feel like you pretty. I feel like you could embody B. Yeah. I, I made these characters, but like A, mm-hmm. B, yeah. C, C, and D. Were letters up so yeah, it's like his character's a little harder. He's like I based him off of Dwight, so it's kind of like who really is like. I agree. Wow. He's yeah. the most like I think I'm the most dynamic dynamic yeah. character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But um, to some extent, I I think that I chose really well. I mean, um, Max was just really excited, so I was like, you know, he can do any character. He could. And so and do it well too, because he was like really good at our condition. So yeah, mm-hmm. I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, I really like the process personally. Like I think coming going into it, like I didn't expect much. But I, I would say I was pretty excited to do it mm-hmm. overall. Um, when I got my character, it was a little difficult to kind of figure out who he was until mm-hmm. Jenna said he was inspired by Dwight from The Office. I've never watched The Office. Me um, neither. <laughs> so like, literally one day last week, I had, I like went on a whole like rabbit hole on TikTok and just looked at all these Dwight videos. <laughs> and like when I, yeah, when I started like looking at him, I was like, oh okay, like I kind of see the idea here. But again, like I'm nothing like my personal character. Mm-hmm. So I think it was more of like actually. I think more of a fun process to just kind of learn how to like embody that character mm-hmm. and how Jenna envisioned him. Um, and so for him to be Dwight, like I had a couple people I feel like tell me that I'm nothing like Dwight either. Mm-hmm. Um, but for his character to be very like impatient and also just like super like I don't know stagnant, it's like kind of fun. Like it's yeah. just really fun to eventually like portray mm-hmm. that and also do it well. Like what did you watch? Like, Dwight Schrute highlights? Watched, or, like, yeah, I guess I watched a bunch of like these like random moments of Dwight and just like him being I don't know Dwight watching like, really Dwight their straps on TikTok. Like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> what side of TikTok are you on? Yeah, I actually didn't watch Office too much until like I was studying for writing the script. Mm-hmm. So the inspiration for the character. Yeah. It's a different type yeah. of sense of humor. So how is it like working with everyone like throughout the journey of just making this whole skit? I know like we're still in the process, but how's it so far? It's just been really fun. I feel like uh, the cast has just been just really open to just you know with the process, and they've been really fun. Like it's we hang out. I, it doesn't feel to me. It doesn't feel like that much work. I'm not really stressed at all. I'm just like yeah, like my we got this. Like. We just get to have fun you know, mm-hmm. along the way. Yeah. yeah. For sure. It's like two and a half hours of you're either just chilling <laughs> and like practicing your lines or eating or doing both. Okay. So it doesn't ever feel like a, it's an extra load, honestly. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it relieves it to be a class. Mm-hmm. TBH. <laughs> it's like a class. <laughs> yeah, so like, like, uh, small little classroom. I think it's a really like low pressure environment. Like we yeah. get to chill, but we're actually working and like, but it's not like anything that's like too stressful. Mm-hmm. I think we all have a really good approach to it and we're having fun through it. I think a lot of us are like, stepping out of our comfort zone for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, 
like I know again for me like I've never really done anything like this and then I met Gam and then the first day I remember doing the table read and we were like we just like did the first table read and I felt so comfortable just in it even oh. though like I didn't know my character at all like mm-hmm. what he was or like how to even portray any, any of the lines mm-hmm. but doing the first table read like I was really excited to work with these people mm-hmm. and like I just knew it was going to be a good show yeah yeah, to me, like, every time we go to practice, it's really inspiring to see them working on their lines or like when we do a table read, it's just like, I can see how much effort they all put into it and they all have their own ways of like practicing, like say like you're just walking around and then one of them would say a line and then also we're in like one of the scenes and I'm just That's like, I'm like, I'm yes. just off my quiz, exactly, off my quiz. But um, it's really nice to see that they're also passionate in their own way mm-hmm. and that makes me passionate about continuing acting mm-hmm. for as long as I did. Yeah. yeah. This guy makes me a Quizlet for his life. Yeah, that's like crazy. Quizlet. Dedicated. Dedicated. Y'all sleeping on the Quizlet now. <laughs> it has all the lines. <laughs> Only my parts. parts. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. And, like, I will, like the definition mm-hmm. Is the response like what uh, what they're asking me, uh, and my turn would be my response. That's uh, smart. It's like the line before it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's for you. Okay, so the next question I that I have. How do you feel? Oh. The <laughs> I think it's pretty fun. You know, I enjoyed it a lot. It's like really different. I say he's a really funny kid because during like just like how she said like during these um like rehearsals we literally it's almost like an inside joke. It feels like an inside joke to be saying some of the lines. Mm-hmm. Right, and like to do like a pop quiz, he gets involved. He gets involved. We test his lines. I test. I test uh, Chas in the most. Yeah. Who forgets the line the most? Would it be Chas? Who forgets the line the most? Yeah. I think we have a fair share amount, honestly. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Okay. On to the next question. How would you describe the chemistry between the cast this year? I'll let Emily answer. That. I actually knew CC before this because we're part of Ace Fam. Shout out Ace Fam. Yes. Um, and then I met Max, and we got along like really well, especially on the reading day. We we're just devouring this um, charcuterie board. <laughs> Nothing was left. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was surprised that I would honestly build a, like a cool friendship with Chasson so fast. Kind of, it was kind of easy too. So we've been like butting heads, having fun the whole time, and it's, mm-hmm. it's always a good time. Yeah. I like, think, oh, sorry. Oh, no, I was going to ask because this is your second year of being skit, so yeah. like, how would you compare it between the chemistry? Uh, um, well, I would say that every single year is honestly like different, and like mm-hmm. we hear this answer all the time, but I honestly think it is different every single year. Mm-hmm. Like For this year specifically, the chemistry, I think every single person is so irreplaceable that like I can't imagine anyone else saying their lines in place of them because in my head as I read the script I can hear like their voices and how we do it during rehearsals and it's just like even even if like we're all you know still practicing and making some mistakes in play it's like that part of our progress makes up skit you know makes up like the chemistry of our skit so. mm-hmm. um. I will say that this girl right here has a lot of technique. Him too. Like they actually have a background <laughs> in some kind of acting, but when she, no. when they say their lines, I'm like, dang, like it's actually really, really good. And I don't want to throw them off. And I feel like sometimes there's that pressure. But I think I feel so comfortable because of the chemistry that we have. It's like I don't even need to worry about it. Like as long as it just flows really well and there's a good character dynamic between all of us, like it's actually just gonna be up. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say, like at first, again, like, I didn't know, I didn't know any of these people coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm naturally a very outgoing person, so I was definitely excited about this kid. Not only, but going into it and being able to like actually see myself as a character now, but then also playing with other characters, it's like kind of, it's like amazing. Um, and <laughs> what? <laughs> um, it's amazing. And um, yeah, like sometimes I look, I see myself in. Thing. Like how can I, how can I picture that better? But they're really good. Mm-hmm. They have really good technique. What is your experience, Gal? That was that was funny that you said that because like I think it's reversed because when you say your lines, I think of more like maybe I should say my lines better or like show more um, I guess like energy. I guess more passion when I say those lines mm-hmm. too. So it's funny that you said that because I think it's reversed. Oh, they always say their lines so well. Like 
like Chastin says his lines. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's so talking. He's talking. No, I really, I really be in like rehearsal and be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I like, don't. So be be you. yourself. Like, go no you. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about your characters dynamic with like the other characters? Like. Like the relationship you have with everyone. Um, you know, I was like really nervous at first, you know, like scared of messing up from you guys, you know, judgment or whatever, but, you know, I just feel more comfortable, I guess. I was gonna say that uh, when the the skit poster came out, I was like, your outfit looks just like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the skit yeah. photo shoot, I was like, did it you just- It was so good, I recycled the fit. I recycled the fit. They always, like, they call me, like, well, actually, sounds <laughs> Like, let me see your fit. He was like, what do I wear? And I was like, just dress like yourself. Like, it doesn't matter. Because, like, I mean, I give them the freedom to, like, choose their own name, character's name, and, like, their, how they dress. And I think it just makes it more fun and personable. So, yeah. And I also, like, thought about, like, how, like, y'all's relationships would be. Not only, like, within a group, but, like, with each other. Like, you and you. And then, like, me and, like... Whatever, I'm sorry, I'm like losing all the names. But yeah, <laughs> like it's just fun to watch them like interact too. So, so big, uh, piggyback on that, honestly, I think Jenna has been a great like leader in like leading this shit. Um, she gives us like the flexibility, like she said earlier, to like if the the lines aren't how we normally say it, like based on our yeah. vocabulary or mm-hmm. like our lingo, she's very open minded to us giving suggestions on how we would say it mm-hmm. in our like own life. Right? Yeah. So we kind of like mold this each character to who we actually are and how we say things. So that's been really cool. I guess it makes acting a lot easier. Than yeah. Way easier. I love it. Way easier. Mm-hmm. Personalizing the character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at me cry. <laughs> <laughs> but what made you want to join Skate in the first place compared to all these other committees in VSA? You know? um, I don't know. I, I mean, I. I like to write, but when I was like at and I guess like last year, I was kind of, I was kind of like I just noticed because I've been to a couple of NAS's by now because my sister was involved in NAS before, and I was kind of like, uh, I like to write and I like to make people laugh, and I kind of wanted to do something different with you know the storyline this year, like something that didn't revolve around just like one character or didn't revolve just around like love or like intimate relationships and stuff like that like I mean yeah like they have a really close-knit relationship but I don't know it's just something different and I think it was really fun to have like this creative outlet to do too so yeah you got it. Uh, uh, I think every single week being able to step into the shoes of a character that doesn't exist but you can bring that character to life is such a like a special thing that only you can do especially if like you're the one that's casted into this role you get to envision how this character is going to exist on stage kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, something I really enjoy is like Jenna's writing style specifically um, not that I have any like acting experience um, but like I also really wanted to just do it because it sounded really fun I remember going like to an info meeting that Jenna put oh, yeah. on and meeting her for the first time and then just like hearing all about it and in the back of my mind I was like no like I don't think I'm gonna do this like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna probably do decor or do another committee or something and just like leave this up to the professionals mm-hmm. um or just get somebody else's chance and I'm just like I don't wanna I don't know mm-hmm. um but then I was like you know what it's fine I'm just gonna figure out and try and see how it is and then she gives us like the audition script um, and I'm reading through it, and then I just like playfully start practicing it. I'm just like, let me read this and see how it goes. And I'm doing it with my roommate. I have like actually a couple people out, like a lot of my friends, just kind of play the second character. Um, and then I would just read my lines. And then as I started doing it more, I was like, wait, this is kind of fun. Like maybe I should take a shot. Yeah. And so you know, I pull up to this audition, and it goes really well. I think, in my opinion, I think it goes really well. I didn't even know. I again, I didn't know what to expect, but. Um, it's definitely something new, and um, I wanted to kind of also do this to make my mark in VSA as well, just as a freshman. No, I was in your shoes one, uh, one yeah. point because I came in. <laughs> I did you laugh. I was a freshman 
wanted Joy to be a say, and I wanted to get my foot out there, so I joined yeah. Skit. Yeah. Wow. And, she, and she killed it. And she did one amazing. There's many other ways to put your foot down besides being a skit. Yeah, you know, I cannot ask. Oh, yeah. I, I like food committee. I love food committee. I was running my food committee. Like, I don't know. I heard I, I had some prior knowledge like about VSA and like NIS specifically, and I thought it was a really cool show. I think like Asian advocacy and just the like, culturally exploded mm-hmm. explosion is like very important to me. So um, <coughs> I definitely wanted to get involved, and I think this is a great way to do it. Okay. How about you, Justin? Um. Well, you really, it? it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm really cringing and sorry. It's really just to get out of the comfort zone, you know. I guess experience something different because usually you know I'll avoid mm-hmm. like yeah. something big like this I guess mm-hmm. yeah it's, it's, it's first year at UGA too in BSA so yeah. I kind of like encouraged him to like you know just try mm-hmm. I think that I think it's really good it speaks, I think it speaks a lot about you you're like testing yourself you know? yeah. Yeah. okay the next question I have for you guys is what is a hot take that you guys have on a character in the skit Bao was a D1 yapper. Yap, 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 yap. All day, every day. How? About what, everything. Yeah, like, makes up words, mm-hmm. you know. Um, oh. You just do that a lot. <laughs> Blow up things out of proportion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a little bit of a dramatic kid. Like, he's a little dramatic. I was thinking that too. But dramatic. like sarcastic. Like, no, sarcastic but dramatic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like really sassy. So he's like, he always has something to say. Mm-hmm. Always. He's gonna defend himself, I'll say that. <laughs> he's gonna defend himself. You better run. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other characters? Is there anything interesting about them? Um, I think he's a bit of a like, I don't know, she's an eavesdropper. Oh, really? Yeah, these characters are a bit of an eavesdropper, and like, it's kind of hard to tell who to trust in some certain situations. <laughs> because. There's people that hear everything and just like know everything and have a lot of opinions, but I say that. Like, yeah, he's definitely. She's, a- she's like very mysterious. <laughs> like, she's mysterious. She says in the back, she acts, but she doesn't hear anything. Right. Yeah. 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 She's she could have. Yeah. If she could know everything, she would. Yes. Yeah. And the fact that she hates opening up to other people is also like you're mysterious. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a listener, but she she doesn't like. Yeah, talking. she just yeah. listens. Okay. I think for Kai, he's like a, it's like a Pandora box. I think like you, you don't know much, but once you open it, it kind of just psh, everything yeah. just comes out. Like he has so much to him, but you just gotta be around him. Long yeah. Long mm-hmm. for him to see it. yeah. He's like one of those friends that like you like you gotta warm up to before yeah. you open up. So. Yeah. And then, what will you miss after NIS is over? Go ahead and say it. The family. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the family. Even though I have like a long way to go. Um, I think we're all gonna miss each other and everything. Like this I think this process I feel like has had so much impact on me in um, like keeping me busy and stuff and very productive. And I feel like it's something I always look forward to at rehearsal especially. And I really don't know what's gonna, like, what I'm gonna do after that. Because I'm really <laughs> looking forward to these and Jenna's food and Aww. just like I don't know, being with them all the time and just like having, I like, I really like the process of just reading lines and being able to play a character, um, even though I have like no theatrical interest like, whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think this is just really a fun opportunity and um, definitely my changing, I'd say. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, Would you try again for next year? I might. You know what? I might. Um, I definitely want to explore a little bit more in terms of VSA itself, but I feel like. I've definitely found a very comfortable family, definitely through mm-hmm. skit, and that everyone collectively is working towards something big and a big show. Um, I also know it's more special this year because it's like the 20th anniversary yeah, or something. It so um, it's a lot of pressure, but it's also, again, super rewarding because you get to kind of portray that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss like chefing it up for you. <laughs> no, like it's just fun because I actually do like cooking, but I like cooking for other people. So it's like, nice to have like, I don't know, I'm breaking up my griddle. I don't know, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I um, brought my griddle to her, so I was like, she was that had like a fiesta. I don't know, I just like doing stuff like that, so it's fun to just force that on y'all. <laughs> like on Thursdays, I make sure I don't eat. 
because I know like, oh, it's gonna be worse. Yeah, I feel like I'm good, y'all. I literally, I literally planned out the budget first. Food. Mm-hmm. That was my first like number one. Food priority. over costumes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like that's what I'm saying. Or like y'all choose. Yeah. 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 yeah, like they get to choose their own costumes. You save money, get better food. Like, yeah. I think we eat well, we do well. Like you will do well. Yeah, you will do well. Yes, that's my philosophy. Right. <laughs> 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 okay, my last question for you guys is: Can y'all share any? Memorable moments that y'all had with each other, you know, whether it's in rehearsals or outside of BSA. Dude, I have a funny story. It's the <laughs> it's the day of our photo shoot, and someone from the media team, shout out David, but it wasn't David. Um, someone stepped on a diaper or something. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And he didn't realize he stepped in it. Oh, her diaper in school. No, it was no, at the was location like, of the show. Yeah, the location of oh, the show. Like a, a diaper at school would be crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, he just walked around following <laughs> us for, like, 20 minutes, and we're just like, what is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was yes. a diaper, and he's like walking around and just like leaving. Yeah, it's like, like the first time hearing this whole story. Yeah, and then the whole time, <laughs> the whole time, even though he cleaned it, his feet just smell. <laughs> Dude, it oh, was bad. Yeah, he, he, he had nothing to do with it. He just, it was just a bad day. It was bad luck. You know, one oh one step and his shoe was destroyed. He has to throw away that shoe. Like, yeah. If he's watching this, I would have done it. I was like, I'm so sorry. What if he's the one editing it? Like, right. <laughs> 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 um, but he was chill. Like, okay. you know, the whole conversation, <laughs> even though we're like, you know, trying to throw a banter at him, he was, he was just like, reciprocating the same energy, so. It was, all, it was a good laugh, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, like, give me a memorable, memorable moment with the end skit. <laughs> with the end skit. Okay. Uh, not, like, another someone outside the skit. Well, we were all there, right? <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. We were all there. Right. Right. Okay. I'd say on a nicer note, though, like, my favorite memorable moment, or just the day in general, was the photo shoot day. Because that's when we really started to like take form of like the real characters, just like being in the outfit and just like embodying them. And we had a couple props, and that was fun. <laughs> um, but doing the photo shoot and like learning how, what like what our character would kind of like, pose like, even um, it just really brought the character to life. It was a really good experience. Um, and then the dynamic of us four like being together. Um, one of my favorite props from the shoot was the car. Like that was super fun, super amazing to crazy just, car, amazing car. Um, shout out to Ethan. Right, shout, shout out to Ethan. Like, thank you so much. But um, that was, it was just super fun. And that day in general, like, I remember we went after we got, we went to like Bob or something. We just hung out. We just hung yes. out. We had a really full, fulfilling day mm-hmm. um, overall. So, yeah. super, super happy about that. I also really like that day because, I mean, I love Skit, but I also love NIS, the process as a whole. So, it was really fun. Like, when we went to get Boba after, like, I got to know a lot of people from like David's like group and that was they were really fun to talk to I don't know like I just really liked yeah. to see like group, yeah. what they brought to the table and like um he's literally blushing right like, now like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like I got to like have a sneak peek of some of the pictures and like they were telling me like why they got involved in me and stuff so it's really fun I really think NIS isn't just about the end product but it's like it's literally about the journey, the people you meet along the way. On the way. Uh, along the, the way. way. Get out of here. Um, and it's just like fun. Like I really like to get. I'm like a people person. I like to know people's story. So it's it was really it's just fun to get to know. Them. So those are always like the most memorable moments. Like I get to talk to y'all. Mm-hmm. So like this is like memorable for me. Yeah, it's fun. Sure. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. No. Really, especially yeah. before the start. <laughs> Like, there was a blooper scene. Oh my goodness. No, we're not adding that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make that look, please. <laughs> and then, do you have any teasers you'd like to share to this audience? There's a big scene. I don't have one for me. There's a really big scene that happens between certain castmates. Um, and I think that would be like the climax. I don't really want to. Mm. I don't know how much you can spell about this big scene, but it is the climax of the show and it's like the turning point of everything. But let's say it gets a little physical. Oh, physical. Ooh. Ooh. Like the goal, oh, like they're fighting, like. We can say that. Okay. It gets physical. Mm, just saying. Really big scene. Very excited about it. Mm-hmm. It's actually pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I actually have one last question for you guys to wrap this up. 
if your skit could be described in comparison to another movie or TV show, what famous movie or TV show would best describe it? Oh wait, didn't you to say something about the last question? Yeah. Was I? I think the question passed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So how would you? <laughs> yeah. Um. How would you best describe your skit in comparison to another movie or TV show? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it was some parts of it was inspired off by The Office. Mm -hmm. the Regular show? Oh, <laughs> I think so. More than ever, <laughs> like, like actually, yeah. Like, yeah if Are y'all best friends? Muscle man. <laughs> <laughs> muscle man. Yeah, all best friends. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the power. Of, I'm just kidding. That's power of this. Okay, so I have this one show. I have this one show. Like, um, I kind of thought about this before, like came the question, but um, when I was little, I used to watch this one show. It's like a Vietnamese TV show, and it's about this group of kids. And they're like a bunch of troublemakers. Um, I swear, like if anybody's watching this, they might know the show. But it's it's called Kim Van Kwa, and it's about like just these kids that run around in the village and just are troublemakers. And I used to watch it when I was really little. My parents put it on for me. Um, but I remember this one scene where like this. I think it's, it might be like the one thing that I remember about it. But there's a scene where they like all make this raft in the river and then the girl got on it and then she was just like kind of just rowing away and then she's like into the horizon while like, she got with all of her friends and i remember like one of them falling into the water and then almost drowning but and then the other one had to drag them out and then everyone's snitching on each other it's just like that oh wow yeah mm -hmm. it's so fun but yeah look it up okay door to the explorer okay. <laughs> adventure yeah, I mean, like, there's some audience attraction. Like, I'm like, we try to bring like to the fourth wall, if y'all know. Ooh. What it is. But it's quite, yeah, it's quite clever, honestly. It's yeah. really clever. Should have been able to pick it up here. Like, huh? it's pretty cle clever, like how you were able to break the fourth wall in our ride. It is so yeah, fun. I'm it is really so fun. excited about it. Really guys. excited. Yeah, I hope y'all laugh. Please laugh. <laughs> well, it's a comedy skit, so I'm hoping we will laugh, yeah. right? <laughs> I, I, we've, we've been laughing we've, while we've been doing yeah. it. We've been getting a good kick out of that rehearsal, so. And we're still laughing, <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun. Well, do y'all have any last words for the audience that's watching this right now before we wrap it up? <laughs> Come to the show, guys! <laughs> 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 Christmas, so happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Well, thank you guys for coming out tonight. It was, or this, today, it was a lot of fun. I think I really like this dynamic it's with people. I'm excited to watch the skit on the day of NAS. So yes. hopefully, I will see y'all at the show. Um, yeah, bye, guys. Bye. Bye.